Okay, what you see here in front of you here is a AC submissible water pump. And today in this video, I want to show you how to connect a submissible water pump, how to wire the wires to the control box and to the water pump. So stay with me at the end of this video because you are going to learn a lot about wiring. So you can see it here. Here is a brand new submissible water pump and we are going to unbox it and you are going to figure out the way you can wire and connect the wires together to the control box so right here i have already unboxed it you can see it our submissible pump is a very big it is a 1.5 kilowatts ac single phase submissible water pump and this one here what you see that white box here is a control box and I'm going to show you how to connect wires to the control box and to the water pump. So you can see it here is a doing model manufactured in China and this is your control box and I'm going to show you how to connect wires together. So usually don't expect to connect the water pump wires directly to the AC power supply. Instead, we are using a control box. We connect the wires from the control box to the water pump instead of connecting the wires directly from the water pump to the AC main power supply. So let me show you how to wire these wires together. Yeah. First of all, you can see it here. Our submissible pump is very big. And today I'm not going to show you how to connect the water pipe, water pipe or any other stuff. I'm just going to show you how to wire and connect these wires together. You can see it here, it's two horsepower AC, one inch outlet, 1.5 kilowatts. You can see it here. There is this upper, upper cover here. You, you are supposed to remove it so let's go and let's go direct into wiring our system so you can see it here instead of having three wires you can see that there are four wires that come from the water pump you can see these wires are labeled a e c and m and also they have got different colors you can see that there is e wire a wire is brown wire and also this color label, this color codes can also be seen at the back of our control box. And this control box has got a circuit diagram that will help you to figure out how to connect these wires together. So you can see it here. At the control box terminal, there are some labels that are being labeled as C, M and A and also E or P E. And at the back of the control box you get a direction of how you can make a connection of our wires you can see that the c wire is black m wire is blue wire a wire is brown wire and the e wire is yellow or is just a yellow wire or a green wire so this following the circuit diagram here we are going to connect it according to the way that you have been instructed by our manufacturer we have got different manufacturers and they may label wires differently but the basic system are the same so we are going to unscrew those terminals and then we are going to connect the brown wire to the a terminal blue wire to the m terminal and the black wire to the c terminal and these wires are also labeled so there is no way you can make it a confusion there is no confusion confusion here and these labels can also be seen at this control box terminals here. You see that there is a PE wire or E wire, C, M and A wires. And this one here is live and the neutral wire is already wired on our control box by default. So we just connect those wires together and then we close our control box and we submerge our pump into the water drum into the water tank in order to test it so it is important to submerge your water pump on a on a drum in order to test it so that you don't end up buying the pump that has got some deformities 
or the pump that may not work well. So we have already connected our wires and we have closed our control box. So it's very simple, just follow the circuit diagram on the labels and then close your control box after putting the wires together and the switch on the water pump from the control box and from the IC main power supply. You can see it here, our water pump is working just fine. So make sure that you connect wires from the control box to the water pump instead of connecting wires directly from the water pump to the AC main power supply. Very important. You see here, our water pump is working just fine and the water helps the pump to cool down. There is a system of water circulation that enables removal of heat from the water pump. So it's important to do that. And make sure that you don't run your water pump dry because if you run your water pump dry, it will destroy the coil of your motors and the, the motor will destroy itself so it's important to run your water pump while submerged sub, 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 sub in a water tank or in a well so after that you are going to submerge your water pump in a deep well and we are free to go right now Up at the top we just connect a connector and a water pipe will run directly from the bottom of our water well of our borehole, borehole to the top and then we'll make the rest of the connection this wire will be extended up to the top of our borehole if you have not seen a video on how a water well is drilled how to drill a borehole i have already done a video on this channel and i will put the link to that video in the description and also I will put more videos related to water pumps on the description of this video. So don't forget to check the description of, the vid of this video for more details. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment hmm? if you have got any question. Thank you and see you in the next video. Hizo